FIFO Life here on Red FM. It's Robbie, and I'm talking finances with Alex from Chesswork Group. Thanks for joining us. How are you, mate? I'm well. How are you? I'm very well, thanks. Great to have you in today. An interesting topic that I want to touch on is what to do after you've been burnt. Yep. This is, uh, I suppose, unfortunately, it's becoming more and more of an issue these days with, uh, you know, people investing in, particularly in the Perth market or even, you know, interest state within WA. Um, and it can hurt. It can hurt really badly. You know, you've, you've kind of saved up all this money, you've invested in property and it's gone the wrong way. It's mm. gone down. Now, the worst thing to my mind is when you reach that point is to, is to stop investing. You know, because okay, yeah, you've you've been burnt, um, but to give up means that you've just basically resigned yourself to being where you were before you started investing. And so I've seen it so many times. I mean, I've I've been burnt myself. Yeah. Um, I can tell you from personal experience uh, back in Melbourne, I went in with a property and I went in with uh, three people, or was three people including myself, and we actually used the builder. We bought a block of land and we used the builder who was a family friend. Now, that family friend decided pretty much just before uh, lock-up stage that he was going to develop a coke and prostitute addiction, right? Right. And basically ran off with the money from the down payments that we were making to build the property. So um, it, it, was, it was terrible. I mean, and it was nothing worse than – because it was a close family friend – Right, yeah. that we knew. We're ringing him up. He's not answering. We've got onto his wife. His wife's in, you know, absolute uh, disarray. She's kind of lost, lost the plot. And then I can't tell you what an absolute nightmare it was just trying to get someone else to finish the property because, you know, as maybe some people have heard on the, uh, you know, come across the same kind of thing. Once one builder's touched something, another builder doesn't want to come in and do it. Have heard that before, yeah. Yeah, they just, it's very, they're very, very reluctant. So, look, long story short, we did lose out on it. Mm -hmm. um, And, you know, it did hurt. But at the same time, you know, it's one of those things where you can't let that, you know, you can't let that stop you. You know, if you're going to go past every road, you know, get up to every roadblock and just say, right, I'm going to give up, you'll never get anywhere. You know, and there's an interesting stat. I, I I can't remember. I actually quoted it in my ebook or not, but there's an interesting stat. It's one of those stats that doesn't really make sense, right? Yeah. It's kind of like having 2.3 children, right? <laughs> you can't have 0.3 of a child. It doesn't yeah. work. But um, they've done studies on self-made millionaires uh, around the world, and they've found that on average, they will either go bankrupt mm-hmm. or lose absolutely everything 1.8 times, right? Wow. And you do read that um, pretty much any millionaire or billionaire you can think of, there'll be history of them going bankrupt a few times before they were successful. Yeah, exactly. And so if you think about that, like, okay, well, uh, we went in, made a mistake, Mm -hmm. you know, we either got wiped out or we actually just said, right, okay, now it's time to go bankrupt because there's no way we can get ahead. Yep. But even bankruptcy is something that, you know, people turn around from and then become very, very successful. So the thing is that, you know, giving up is really not the answer. You know, as much as it hurts, you've got to just going to assess the situation and just go, you know what, what do I need to do from here? What's the next step? Where do I need to go? Well, Alex, you've got an e-book, mate. If people want to know more information, what's the best way they can get that? Yeah, you can uh, get on the website. It's chessworkgroup.com.au. And there's two e-books there, actually. There's one for property investing and one for home loans. Uh, and just enter your details and we'll send you out a free e-book. Alex from Chesswork Group, thank you very much, mate. Pleasure. Thank you for having me. So once again, if you want to get a hold of Alex's eBooks, head to chessworkgroup.com.au and you can download them there. That's it for FIFO Life today. We'll be back next week. It's Robbie saying see you later.